Hello friends, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all having a great day. The other day I posted a picture on Instagram of me in curls and so many wanted a tutorial. So here I am today to do the tutorial for you and it is called the No Heat Curls and all you need is your bathrobe belt. That is it. Now I will make a suggestion get your granny robe not your date night robe okay you want a big bulky robe belt you don't want a soft silky you know gonna slide out of your hair and perhaps right off your pillow this one right. here is really it's it's a thick belt and that's what you want the next thing you want is clean fresh hair fully dried okay you can put on whatever styling products you like to use I don't use anything except for hair oil and I have the Colleen Rothschild smooth and shine hair serum and all you do you know take a little squirt of your oil and you can put it on before you blow dry or and you can also put it on your hair right after you blow dry you might need a brush just to make sure that you have no tangles in your hair so just brush through your hair and make sure I'm sorry I just hit my microphone with the brush Make sure that your hair is tangle free. All right, next thing, I'm going to lean down here. Now, you'll be able, you're going to see all of my gray hairs, every single last one of them. And in the back of my head, it's, the back of my head is silver. The front of my head is white, okay? But anyway, I'm just going to take my finger and just make a part down the center or wherever you want, but I just do the center for overnight and just pull the hair. It doesn't have to be perfect, my friends. Because when you're done with this, it's just a bunch of really going all over the place waves, all right, curls. So then I'm going to go straight down the back like I'm going to make a pigtail, two pigtails. So now I have my hair all pulled to the front, two sections, just like that, okay? Now this is where your bathrobe belt comes into play. Now mine does have brown marks on it because when I have it in my hair in the mornings and I do this and I want to cover my grays, I go ahead and I just spray my root sprays on them. Yes. <laughs> and they happen to be like light brown. So that's what you see on my robe, but it does wash out so I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. So you fold your robe in half. Okay. And then where it is not loose, where you folded it, you want to take that and you want to just place it into the center of your head. And I use my ears as a guide, okay? So it lays right over my guides. I have to keep my eye on Lula. She comes up and pretends she just wants to be with mama. Not so. She's looking for some trash to eat. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do that. And then and I'm then going to take a bobby pin. And you just so want just to secure it. You don't even have to do this step, but I think it'll just help you out in the beginning when you're first learning. And also, you can have shoulder hair length and do this. You can have even longer hair than me and do this. You can, I don't, it, it won't work for super short hair, but you can give it a try. Why not? You can use your belt and just take big sections of hair and wrap it tight and then you'll get really nice waves. Try it if you have like, you know, chin length hair, but you're long on top. And let me know how it turns out okay so now I'm going to take this side and I just want to get it out of my way so I'm just going to take a band and I'm just going to pull this through and leave it so it's just out of my way now so now this is almost like French braiding but not because in French braiding you pick hair up with each pass by each section here the blue is acting as a section but we're not picking hair up we are only wrapping hair around this so you want to make sure that you keep it pretty much straight until you start to get to the back and then it'll kind of go back like that but for now we are going to <clears throat> keep it straight now i'm working off a viewfinder that is very far away from me and uh no mirror because if i have a mirror i'm gonna go out of frame i know it so just bear with me so we're going to pick up our first section here and I'm just going to lift that hair up and you want to make sure the hair is nice and smooth and then I'm going to pick the blue one back up <clears throat> excuse me and you're going to go over the top and you're going to bring it through so you're going over the top and under and bringing it through to the same side you started now you're going to go and pick up a section from the other side 
and you're going to separate your hair. Try to keep it smooth. And now you're going to come over the top with that one and you're going to wrap under again. So it's just a matter of wrapping over and under with each section. So now this section here, I'm going to pick up more hair from it and I just kind of hang on to it in here until I make sure the strands are separated and then I put it back in my hand and I make sure I have all of the hair, pull it out so you see you have that piece separated. Now you're going to go over the band again. So we're going over and then we're coming with the fingers and pulling that hair back under to the side you started. Now that we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to okay. hold on to the belt and that hair. Now I'm going to take this hair from the back. I'm going to just hang on to it for a minute and I'm going to pull some more of my silver hair in and I go right to the part and I just bring in some of that hair and you want to separate it so I'm going to have that hair hang on to it for a second and then just join it with the other hair that you were hanging on to and now that's all hair from the back and we're going to take the blue put it back in that hand you're going to take that hair wrap it over and I like to wrap pretty tight take the blue band and just pull it under so you see you're going over and under. I know it seems confusing, but it really is a simple, simple thing. So now okay. I'm taking the last of the hair in this section and I'm bringing it, making sure that it's detangled, putting it back in my hand and I'm going to go over the top and under again. All right, and just smooth that out and hang on to that separately again. So now you're going to pick up this hair again and the back section you will have more hair but if you wrap it tight you'll get really nice curls. So I want to bring some more of this hair from the back and join it into that piece in the back. Separate it and we are going over and I'm pulling that hair back and under again. Okay so now I don't really have any more hair to pick up with this one so I'm just going to go over and under and bring that hair out on its own and then I can pick up just the last of this hair and join it into that section and I'm pulling it over and wrapping it back under okay so now I'm going I, now I have three pieces just like a braid but I'm still going to take this over and I'm going to pick it back up and take it under. Same thing with this one. Now I'm going to take this one, go over the blue belt and then pull it back under. And then the same with this one, over the blue belt and then bring it back under. And notice I'm really pretty snug on my belt. So I have this hair again going over and bringing it back around and under. Same with this one. I'm going to bring the hair out, bring it over, pull it back under, hang on to that hair, and then over with the back piece, wrap it around and under. And then we want to do the same thing until we are done with all of the hair. So it will get thin on you where you start to have less hair. So pull it over. Now we're going to go back over with this one and under and over with the next one and back under and then I probably can get this over one more. This one here is pretty well done so I'm going to go over with the big piece and back under and around and now I want to join those two pieces and this is what's important. Try not to kink this hair up. Act like you're if you're somebody who uses a curling iron and you lead that end piece out do the same thing with this so now you want to have a little band and I just use a clear little band and I'm going to lay that hair keep it together though those two pieces but I'm going to lay it down on the band and I'm going to leave the ends out so I'm going to come around and I'm going to pull the band all the way through and then wrap it around just a couple times you just need to secure it you don't need to you know squeeze the life out of it <laughs> you just need to secure it so three or four times around is pretty good for this band and I think that's pretty much it for me 
So you'll see these pieces are all left out and you want to make sure you do that because if you don't, you're going to have all these curls and then your ends are going to have like little fish hooks and you don't want fish hooks. All right. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and I will be right okay, back. So this is what you're left with two pigtails and you can take the bobby pin out of the center. You no longer need it because this is secure and it's not going to go any place. Now it's really not uncomfortable to sleep with these at all. I have done this like two or three times now. Lou really likes the look of this. Um, the only thing I will say is that I cannot brush my hair out. Some people can brush their hair and they get a really soft wave with it. If I brush mine, it just poofs out and looks really frizzy. Like I did a really bad curl job on my hair, but if I just take it out and I just flip my head upside down and I just toss them lightly and then flip my head back and maybe finger the front of it where I want it to be, it, it really? really does look nice. Now so, if you do this and you're not going right to bed, you can just push these behind you and wrap them up just on your head so they don't get in your way because the bathrobe belt is kind of long. So you just tuck it away or you knot it up on your head and it's not a big deal. I mean, I walk with this in my head in the morning. I said to Lou, am I gonna embarrass you? He's like, no. And it just looks like I have a headband on anyway. But you know, you can do that to keep it out of your way. But when I go to bed, I do take this down and I leave it like this because I don't want to flatten this. I wanna be able to still have a little bit of lift. And it's amazing. You will see tomorrow morning when I take this out of my hair. It's just amazing. And it turns out different um, every time I do it. So it just all depends. You're not going to get the same look every single time, but it's fun. So I'll see you tomorrow morning and we'll take this out. And I expect to see all of you wearing curls. <laughs> all right. I'll see you in the morning, guys. Well, good morning, my friends, and thank you for joining me. Before I take this silliness out of my hair, I want to tag a couple of people, and I actually put it in my notes because I didn't want to forget. I thought I would make this into a tag and tag a couple of people. I know that some won't do it, and I know that others will, but I thought it would be really interesting to see people on YouTube that normally wear their hair a certain way, try something new. And also they may have different hair from me. So their results may be different. And I think anyone with shoulder length hair could actually do this. Uh, the amount of curl that you get will depend on how much you hair, pair hair you pull around the tie or how thin your tie actually is. Now, remember, you want to use your granny bathrobe, not your date night bathrobe, the silky slippery ones. You want your hair to grip onto this. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and tag and I would love to see all of these ladies do it. And I know I may have forgotten some, of course I didn't pick any short haired girl. I may have forgotten some. So just go ahead and do it and tag us and let us know. First of all, Lisa, Lisa D1. I could never leave her out of anything because I just love her. So Lisa, Lisa D1, Angie from Hot and Flashy, Marnie, Miss Gold Girl, Michelle Wong, Rissa Does Makeup, Stung by Samantha, Rachel Beauty Professor. I just adore her and she has waist length hair and her hair is so healthy and beautiful. Laura Vitali, just the sweetest, just the sweetest. Lisa J Makeup, Samantha Sherman, Brianna Stanko and Ariel Snyder. Now I know some of them may have hair extensions so it may work a little differently or even prevent them from doing the tag but um, I'd love to see all of you give it a shot. So let's go and take this out of my hair and show you how you get no heat curls. So uh, of course uh, we walked this morning and the brown you see on here is because I have to spray my roots while it's in here because the grays really scream at me. It's amazing, but you know, none of us have been able to get to the hairdresser. I did color it a couple of times, but it's a lot of work. In the back, I haven't even bothered coloring. So I must have this much regrowth of silver hair. So uh, first, we're going to remove the clear rubber bands or whatever you use. I don't suggest regular rubber bands because the hair, it does get all tangled up in there. So you're just removing it. And I usually don't use these again because they're so stretched out. Now, when you remove this, you want to make sure that you do it gently. You don't want to really disturb the curls too much because if you do, you start to create frizz and you'll see that when I first take this out, I don't have a lot of frizz, but the more I try to, you know, quaff it, the frizz starts to act up, but I'm going to show you what I do in place of it. So first we're just going to unwrap the hair off of the bathrobe. 
And if you just lift it up the way you put it on, you'll have no problem with this coming out. And as you saw in the video, all I have on my hair right now is hair oil. Tonight, when all you right. sleep, you'll see you'll get little flyaways in the morning. It doesn't affect anything. So just gently remove. And really, if you just do it in the way that you put it on, you'll have absolutely no problems removing it. It does, it's a little more difficult when you don't have a mirror to look at. <laughs> All right, so we should be coming up on the last piece and I just want to lift this out. Okay, and I have my last one. The ring I'm wearing in this video is Dean Davidson, and this is the Plaza ring in the Labrador right. It is spectacular. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side, and I'll be right back. Okay, so when you take out your bathrobe, this is what you are left with, just wavy curls. Now, you can go ahead and start to shake them this way, but this is the way I do it. Now, I have exercise pants on with my blouse because that's how I record my videos. So you're just going to take your head. I want to make sure I stay in frame. So take your head and dump it up. Am I in frame? I am. Just dump it upside down and shake those curls lightly. Just shake them loose, but not crazy. Just bounce from the root. Okay? And then let me sit down. And then just flip your head back, okay? So now you have loosened up the curls and this is what it looks like. So then you just fuss with it. Now I don't have a mirror, so of course it's gonna be a little difficult for me. But look at that, look at that incredible curl you get from this. It's just beautiful, my friends. It's like a beachy wave. I am just blown away with the curl that comes from this technique. It's amazing what people do out in the world. So now what I do, I'm gonna take off my ring and I'm just gonna take some of the Colleen Rothschild hair oil and I'm just going to take a pump of it and I'm gonna go ahead and work it into my hand. And then I'm just going to really squeeze that oil into the hair. I'm not really rubbing the hair. I'm just giving it an extra dose of shine. And then you just work the curls the way you want it and you can use spray, whatever you want, my friends. It's all up to you. You can pull this back. You could just pull it back into a ponytail and have these waves as your ponytail. Now, as you go down to the end, you'll, you'll notice, notice it's very important to leave those end hairs out and don't get them kinked up in the rubber band because that's how they will then be for the rest of the day. And if you are like the rest of us, we are all in need of a haircut. <laughs> Truly, we are. But I just think this is really a nice option. And if you're somebody, like I mentioned, if you're somebody who really, you know, your hair is damaged and you're trying to get it to grow and you want it as healthiest it can be, try the no heat curl. And, and just remember what I said. If you take a lot of hair, you'll get more wave. If you take smaller sections, you're going to get more ringlet. If your bathrobe is really thin, you're going to get more ringlet. I actually would like even a little bit thicker than this one. I have a, a spa robe back in New York that I didn't ship down here that has a really um, thick belt to it. So I really will, uh, I'm going to look around and try to find one that has a really thick belt. I'm going to buy a robe just for my hairstyles. <laughs> But it's just amazing to me, just amazing to me. And I don't even know who to give this credit to, who created this look, but it's just genius to me what some people can come up with, the, di the different types of hacks that they can come up with. All right, All right, my friends, so that is it for today's No Heat Curl tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you'll give it a try. And I hope that those of you that I have tagged will at least give it a try and entertain your subscribers <laughs> because it is really an entertaining video. It truly is. All right, my friends, that's it for today. If you are not subscribed, I would love to have you as an ageless beauty. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and right next to it is the bell that will notify you of all the videos that I am putting up. Until the next time, my friends, 
friends. Go out in the world and be happy, healthy, beautiful, and most of all, my friends, lovable. And do it with curly hair. <laughs> Bisous, my friend. Bisous.